This is a PSA for all your mains. Stop banning Aurelia. I know this might sound insane because in Emerald Plus, statistically, Aurelia wins 54% of the time, and even in Masters Plus, she wins 67% of the time. However, for me, out of 35 games against Aurelia, I do have a 63% win rate, and this is in 400 LP EUS Masters Plus. If you are below Grandmasters, I believe 99.9% .9 of Aurelia players are not good enough to take advantage of the Yorick matchup, and you can make this matchup into a favourable, if not even an easy matchup in the lower elos. I'm going to show you how I win these lanes against three different Aurelias in this video, all in 400 LP Masters Plus. So level 1, you want to start Q. You win the level 1, only if she goes into you though. Don't force it and go into the wave into her because then you'll lose a trade. But if she queues towards you or queues to a minion right next to you, Q her, and you see the bonk damage. This really played it pretty well with her weaving, so I couldn't show you the perfect example. Again, we're playing in the higher elo. In the lower elos, I can tell you right now, the really is going to Q three times, jump into you, you're going to win that. You just Q and you just auto attack backwards. You will win it. Your level one is better than hers, surprisingly, this time around. You don't win level two, so when she does hit level two, you want to sit back and just wait for her to push towards the wave, because she will push it with her constant queuing and weaving. So it'll push towards you. She might make mistakes and queue into you, like in this example here, she queued into me. I took advantage of that. Otherwise, you will not win the level two. You win the level one, but not the level two into Aurelia. So level two, level three, you play passive, but level four is when you could actually kill her. Now, a lot of times in Aurelia, especially in high elos, they might do this thing where they shove it in and then they reset to get an item advantage. That's all right. They might not do that to you. Do not panic and try to shove the wave in. Do what I'm doing right now. See how I'm slowly pushing the wave. I'm going to only last hit, build up the ghouls, and then when the next wave comes, wait for the wave to come in, you activate the ghouls. This is when you get a huge wave like I'm doing right now. So you have the level advantage and you have the minion advantage. She might have an item or two, but that's fine. You got the levels and the minion, so you do win, especially at level four. See this build up. Make sure you're building up. If you don't build up, you might actually lose because the wave won't be big enough and you won't have the levels. Here's a perfect example of her trying to fight back. See how the wave is so huge, she can't fight me. She's going to lose. Don't be afraid of Rebellia. You might see her queuing everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. Like flipping, confusing you. Don't worry. Don't panic. Stay calm. You're going to win this. See how I'm just staying the wave, weaving in. She, If she kept it fine, she would have lost that 100%. But and in lower elos, they probably will. Don't. What I'm going to tell you is disrespect Aurelia. People say, don't disrespect Aurelia. Disrespect her with all your intention. She is nothing but a maggot. See this? Very easy. A lot of people have trauma from her past season because Aurelia used to be able to destroy you. She can't do that anymore, guys. Relax. So what I like doing is buying tabbies into her first item, especially with the Jack of Trades stacks you have. When you have five stacks, you do get a bit of a power spike. Watch this freeze, by the way. I use my W to freeze it, and she's forced to back. You can't do much about it. So I've got perfect freeze in this perfect area that I can kill her in once I reach the perfect scenario. So if you can't kill her from level four to five, it's fine. Level six is the number one power spike. This is when you can put your shovel and shove it up that Aurelia's air. Here's another example at level 7. Let's ignore the, the jungler and the support. They didn't really do much there. Just imagine me being there. She had to run away practically. There's nothing she can do. It's a free clean sweep. And if you do not give up an early game lead or die early game, this is what should be happening when you do have Maiden and go into Aurelia. Here's another example of killing Aurelia once you have Maiden up. Maiden is so powerful, so she does try to kill the Maiden or something. Just turn it into her, take her down. Don't be afraid of Relia, you've got that Conqueror, you've got that Ignite or Exhaust, you can go Ignite Exhaust on the matchups up to you. And you destroy her, trust me, it's free. It's very free, most of the time. On to the second game, I'm going to show you how you can still kill her even when you're somewhat behind. This is a weird early game. Let's just see what's happening here. Why the hell is Poppy there? She's zoning me out so hard. Okay, cool, cool. Please tell me I'm not in the wrong here. Why is Talia just not parting top lane at this point? I'm kind of going insane in the situation. I'm pinging, I'm asking for help. She's literally right there. But her jungle brain is like stuck to her pathing method. Can't she break it? I don't know. We're playing in, in Masters, by the way, 400 LP plus. So it's a bit questionable. She does this again later into the game. I think the Tilia doesn't like me or something weird. <laughs> but what the hell is she doing? Bad early game. I die. It's a bit sad. Here I am using the wave principle. Don't forget, build up a huge wave, have the ghouls. I'm gonna hit level six now anyway, so she can't do anything. But look at me shoving in this huge wave. She can't fight me. 
she tries to find me, she's going to instantly die. And this has led me to get an advantage because I did find out the, the, the Shivana is doing the grubs and we kill her and we also turn into Aurelia and she has to run away as well. And here at level 9, I do have tabbies, I do have Trinity Force components and I do have exhaust and this is an example of all ending with exhaust this time around and killing the Aurelia, Shivana does clean up as well but we do get the kill and this is a nice little comeback. Let's talk a bit about the build whilst I kill Aurelia again. I love building Trinity Force, I think it's a must to build Trinity Force into Aurelia with Conqueror. Trinity Force Conqueror is the best hands down because it's dependent on you, you can bonk her really quickly, you can build up your Conqueror stacks. If she kills your ghouls, you're still doing a lot of damage. Your Trinity Force Power Spike is stronger than her Blade of Rune King Power Spike. This is an example of a level 3 early kill. Now these type of kills can happen, but they are very risky. You can only do all these kills if you do bunker level 1 to level 2 continuously like I explained before, and she's low enough. Otherwise, I wouldn't risk it, but I think in a lot of elos you can get away with doing these type of all-ins and winning. So the next few clips are taken from my stream. The quality is a bit low, so I do apologize there, but it shouldn't really happen next time. And yeah, here's some examples of Relia dying to me in the laning phase and getting an advantage. Let's be good. Come over here! Boom! Oh crap, I might die here. Okay, that was close. That wasn't close. Very much not close. Good job, Aurelia. I wanted to fight me. Alright, she could be dead here. What? No way, dude. I'm actually killed. I'm just gonna exhaust her so I can do more damage. Oh, she dies anyways. <laughs> I win this. <laughs> Aurelia plays are so funny, man. You don't, you can't counter me with Aurelia unless you actually want your Aurelia. Because they don't understand how Aurelia, even if you like, I don't know, they don't get like, I don't know. I, I understand Aurelia more than they do, you know? Oh, shit. Holy crap, I can't catch this guy. Finally. Finally. Oh crap. Good attempt, bro. He's on our own. Dude, what was that? And lastly, I just want to gloss over the fact of the build path being very important. If you build wrong, it can be problematic if you're against Aurelia. I'm three levels ahead of you here, and this fight is so close because I built wrong. Trinity Force is correct, Tavis is good as well, but you also need to build Anti Hill. That can be Executioners or Bramble Vest. I like building Bramble Vest into Fawn Mill, that does counter Aurelia really pretty hard. And then possibly Black Peeva if she does stack armor like Frozen Heart. But yeah, make sure you get some Anti Hill in there, get Trinity Force in there and tabbies and you should be good playing against Aurelia and it shouldn't be this close at least. So that's the end of the video, hope you learned a thing or two and I'll see you guys in the next one. We shall prevail, we have eternity.